Alright guys, finally got a package in the mail, so we gotta see what the heck is in here. I'm honestly not too sure. But yeah, we got a package. Uh, let's see here. Open it up, if I can like rip it open. Let's see. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. We got we got a few things in there. I don't know what. Alright, well, we're gonna find out, dude. Ah. Let's see. Oh, bro! How did this get here before the freaking 12th? I'm triggered. All right, guys, so this is basically a review on the Beyblade Burst Chozetsu Customized Set. So, yeah, on um, the newest set that came out, you know. Um, But, yeah, dude, it comes with some really, really awesome stuff. I just got it without the actual uh, box and such because... um. Cause I'm, cause I'm poor. People think I'm rich. I'm, I'm not rich. I promise you guys, I'm not rich. I wish I was, <laughs> but yeah. So I just went with like without the box, cause it's cheaper shipping and such. So yeah. Anyways, it's time to open this up, and I'm gonna review all the bays in here. So it comes with four different bays, and obviously two of them are really, really hyped. Two of them are anime bays. They did sort of the same thing with the transformation set. Uh, the first set they did with four bays coming out, cause it came with uh, Deep Chaos and Arc Bahamut. Both of them obviously being in the show. Uh, Boa and Cleo's bays. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna we're gonna go in the order of like hypeness So I'm gonna save the best for last <clears throat> But yeah, man, so I guess we're gonna go in first with um With bloody so we have bloody longinus here So first bay it comes with four bays, you know a bunch of different parts and such but I'm gonna obviously keep them all stock But yeah, so here's the first bay and that being Bloody Longinus. So here are the stickers for it. Look at that, man. Um, Bloody Longinus, one prime uh, dagger cycle is the combo. So yeah, obviously, like, the instructions, forget those. I ain't even worried about them. But yeah. So here we have the layer Bloody Longinus. It looks so amazing, dude. It reminds me of, like, the evil bays. Like, you know, the Joshin, like, the Legend of Spriggan and such. But yeah, it looks just like that. I see that metal right there. <clears throat> looks so so awesome dude the black and the purple this thing looks menacing and it looks so so amazing dude <laughs> Yeah, I, I dig the look of it and honestly bloody longinus is pretty dang good for attack people slept on it And if you put like a dash driver on it, it's actually really good for attack. So yeah And then here we have the disc which is one prime, you know one dash uh, Yeah, man, so it's obviously heavier than the original one a little revamped and looks so, so awesome, dude. And then we have the dagger frame that they put on this, which is pretty awesome, dude. This thing's gonna have a lot of attack. And it's a nice purple. It matches it so, so well, dude. <laughs> yeah, if only they made like the cycle black, like it would have been like perfect. But yeah, here is the driver, which is cycle. I honestly think, well, like nah, it shouldn't have been like cycle dash. I mean, cycle's not that decent. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty decent. It's not like the best, but yeah, they would have made a dash for it. I don't know, might have breaking like the game a little bit. I don't know, but yeah, anyways. Pretty decent driver, and now it's time to put it together. Let's see the teeth on this. Um, oh wow, wow, dude, did they buff? Did they buff Bloody's teeth? Maybe they did a little bit. Like the, at least those first two, they're pretty strong, man. But yeah, so Bloody Longinus one <clears throat> one dash dagger cycle. <clears throat> I gotta clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. Mm, 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 mm. Get the next bait blade. Yeah, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Beatbox a little bit. But next up, we have Crash Bandicoot. I mean, Ragnarok. You know, I obviously make that joke. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Crash Ragnarok. I don't know if it has any stickers with it. Does it? Yeah. There we go. It's only got, like, a couple. Not too, too many. But here is the layer Crash Ragnarok. This is the second uh, release for it. You know, obviously, the first one being in the random booster. But overall, it's a pretty good layer, dude. Like, I don't know why people slept on Crash Ragnarok so much. Um, it could be good with the right parts. I mean, I, I say that a lot. But, like, it literally can. Um... It's got pretty decent teeth, um, and if you put, like, a dash drive around this, like Zephyr Dash or something, you can make a pretty good combo. I mean, it's got, like, these upper points right here, or the points that, like, go down and such. But, yeah, man, looks really, really awesome. Got the white, got the silver, and the gold in the middle looks so awesome. The blue eyes, and obviously the metal right there, and then these wings are also metal. So it makes, like, a pretty good circle when it's spinning. But, yeah, man, it's also a pretty big layer. Then for the disc, we have five. They put five in here. Pretty nice to see five again. And then cross, which, you know, we've seen that quite a bit. Um, and then for the driver, this is actually special. It's volcanic dash. So they made a volcanic dash. Obviously, the spring, um, you know, is way stronger, harder to burst and such. But, yeah, um, honestly, volcanic's not the best. Yeah, it's not the best driver. For this to be really, really effective, you'd have to, like, slide shot it big time and just hope that, like, you get a good attack in. Uh, but, yeah, so let's see here. Um, 
yeah, overall, teeth-wise, it's pretty decent. But yeah, and wow. <laughs> when I did that, it was like the frame that came off. But yeah, man. Yeah, overall, pretty pretty decent clicks. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Ragnarok's going to be in a attack combo. All right, then. Next up, we have this. <clears throat> we have this bad boy right here. So um, this base has been hyped a bit. You know, and it's obviously the actual release of Orb Aegis. This is owned by Evel Oxford. That's his name in the show. Um, he's the scientist dude that's with hearts and such. But, yeah. Um, if I can get it out of the package. I'm also, like, a little sore. I don't know. My back's, like, a little sore for some reason. But, yeah. Here are the stickers. And, yeah, I think because I got it without, uh, you know, with anything else, I think, like, there might not be a code in here. Actually, wait. Oh, there is. Okay, cool. <laughs> they included the code, which I'm really happy about. But, yeah, man. Here we go. So... <clears throat> here is Orb Aegis, the layer, you know, looks really similar to the random layer collection version. These orbs actually do uh, spin a little bit, you know, they do free spin when they move. Looks really, really awesome. Um, pretty good for defense, you know. And then for the disc, we have this bad boy. This is why this is so special. I don't get why people slept on this bay because it comes with this disc. This disc is, uh, you know, the Omega disc or they call it Outer and the only way that you could get this disc before this point is literally winning Orichalcum. Like, either the Black Orichalcum, Outer Octa, or um, if you, like, won the Rare Bay, the Gold Orichalcum, Outer Octa. That was the only way you can get this. But, yeah, now it's in the set. And I actually just got unbanned by the WBO. It's so good, though, because look at, like, the roundness of it. It's actually pretty good for LAD. It has a good amount of weight to it. Like, yeah, definitely feeling it. It's got a pretty good amount of weight to it. And, yeah, it's honestly one of the best discs in uh, Japan. That's what they decided and such. Um, but yeah, next up, we have uh, the driver, which is Quest. This is called Quest. So basically, the way this is, guys, this is a dart. Um, it actually is. So like when you launch in, it sticks in one spot, and it goes around, you know, um, on that one spot. Some people don't like it, but I feel like this, honestly, could be pretty dang good with the right parts. Like, for example, you put Winning Valkyrie or Chosey Valkyrie or a layer that has a crap ton of attack on this, and you launch as hard as you possibly freaking can with it, maybe it could be good, if, as long as it has, like, good springs in it, you know. Um, they at least feel decent. They feel pretty decent. So, yeah, maybe it could be good that way, you know. Maybe people are sleeping on this driver, and it can actually be used in a really, really awesome way, dude. So, yeah, anyways, the spin though. Yeah, man. All right, time to put this bad boy together. Let's see. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude. Wow. It's got pretty dang strong teeth. Yeah. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong clicks, dude. It's pretty tall, too. You know, that might be one thing that might be, like, a hindrance for it. I don't know. But we'll just have to see how it goes, man. I'm going to have to launch this thing really, really hard when I actually battle with it. Um, but, yeah, overall, it looks so, so cool, dude. So, there it is. Orb Aegis Outer Quest. And then last but not least, we have the most hype bay in here. Man, my shoulder is, like, sore. It's really, really sore. But, yeah. Um, and that being Cho Z Spriggan, dude. So, here we go. Obviously owned by Shu, who just came back in the show recently. And it is hype, dude. So, let's see here. Um, get it out of there. Do-do-do-do. Oh, sweet. It does have a code. Awesome. Um... But here are the stickers for it. Um, a pretty good amount of stickers. You know, they're pretty big stickers, too, which is nice because I have huge freaking hands. But, yeah. Now it's time to get into the bay itself. So here we go, guys. This is Cho Z Spriggan. This layer is pretty dang huge. Like, it's a big layer, dude. They made it bigger. It's definitely bigger than Spriggan Requiem. But, yeah, man. This is the overall look for it. On um, the center part, is that gold? Yeah, that... Well, it's gold, and that is metal. Um, this on the outside is actually, like, plastic, but they put so much plastic on it, it's still going to have a lot of weight to it. So, uh, yeah, man. Um, the gimmick, obviously, is, like, it is dual rotation. It doesn't have any rubber on it like Sprig and Requiem did. And I don't know why people are so surprised about, like, how this design was, because uh, literally, I said it before, every Chosy Bay that has, like, a version that, you know, has been from, like, an original Bay, like Valkyrie or Spriggan or Excalibur, it incorporates all those previous versions into it. So you can see parts of, like, Legend Spriggan right there with this. Um, well, no, you can see parts of, like, Storm Spriggan with this. You can see parts of Legend Spriggan with this, and then the dual rotation factor and the chip in the center, um, Spriggan Requiem, you know. So it has all of them incorporated in it, and it's dual rotation. So, yeah, man, let's see the teeth. Wow, those are really tall teeth, dude. Look at that. 
this thing's gonna be a boss. Like Chosey Valkyrie's a boss, and I'm definitely seeing this be a boss as well. And there's one more gimmick to it. So when it's just like uh Chosey Valkyrie, when you launch hard enough, these points actually stick out. So yeah, um you could do it in like so left rotation, you know, these points would stick out, and there would be the stopper. Um it'll be on this side, and then in right rotation it'll be on the other side. Let's see if I can just get one more. It's hard because I don't have any nails, which sucks. Eh, there we go. So yeah, that'll be good for like left rotation. Boom, boom, big contact points. They're focusing more on like the full attack, like the raw attack power of it, than it like stealing spin, you know. You can tell with like this version because it doesn't have any rubber on it, but it's still gonna be a boss, dude. Like look at that contact point right there, right there. Big time attack, dude. This thing looks so, so sick. And then for the disc, we have zero. They kept zero on it. Um, you know, not upset about that at all. Zero is still one of the heaviest discs in the game. And it's really, really good. So, yeah. And then for uh, the frame, we have wall. So look at this, man. This frame, it goes completely under. It's just like under. Um, it goes way under. But um, the wall frame right there. Um, I guess the main thing is that like it helps it like stay balanced. Because without it, it's pretty unbalanced and such. But, yeah. Um, still, I've heard like this frame is pretty good on some combos like with a uh, bearing or atomic or such you know um just depends how you use it but yeah man dang it looks so so good like i love the black on it and i just love the design for it dude like all these different points right here literally does look like the bricks to a wall but yeah then we have the driver which is zeta dash so this actually is going to make zeta pretty viable because like zeta obviously has the three tips they didn't switch them so we have the massive which is the defensive tip we have uh the quake type tip which is for attack and then we have uh the fusion type tip which they call it stamina but honestly it's balance but yeah um but it has a stronger spring so it's actually gonna like have more burst resistance and such and it's gonna be actually pretty viable so yeah man Big time resistance. You could see it with like the red plastic right there and such. But yeah, kind of put it together. Let's see. Um. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Really, really strong. Really, really strong teeth. And then it's gonna have the stoppers as well if you launch it hard enough. So yeah, man. There's Cho Z Spriggan Zero Wall Zeta Dash. This thing looks so so awesome, dude. But yeah. So, basically, I got this set before my random booster 12s come in. I don't even know. Like, I hope they didn't get lost. <laughs> but, yeah, still, um, got these. So, I'm going to be able to make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of battle videos with them. Um, <clears throat> and I got them in time because I'm going out to California in a couple of days, which I'm so, so hype about, dude. I'm going to be out there for a couple of days. And, yeah, um, it's going to be great. I'm just glad that, like, these parts came before i got out there not only if my random booster 12s will get here so it'll be like a miracle and it'll be like the best week ever <laughs> but yeah no matter what you're gonna be seeing a lot of battles with these bays um i might save some of them for after i get back because i have a lot of plans for them you know i always do 1v1s and especially like i gotta do 1v1s with both of these bays at the bottom so i got a lot of videos coming but yeah Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this epic review on the Beyblade Burst Chozetsu customized set. Um, you know, like I said, got it without the box because it was cheaper. Because, yeah, I'm not rich. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. Hope you guys are really hyped about the battles and such that are going to be coming. It's going to be great. They're going to be intense. And it's just going to be so, so epic, dude. But, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, till next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you later. Thanks for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And, cool, shoot, I'm up out of here.